Hello and welcome to Neighborhood Nature. My name is Lisa and I'm a librarian at St. Albert Public Library and we have with us today Hannah who is an animal biology student at the U of A and today we're going to be looking at birds, bees and other pollinators as well as some plants. If you have a creek or a river or some other body of water near your house that's a great place to look for nature. So this is a creek that we went to this week. It looks really wild but it's actually only about 10 minutes away from our house. Next to the creek we found this blue butterfly, which is not surprising, and it's part of a group of butterflies called blues. If you look very closely, you might be able to see the tongue. It's licking up the water from the rocks. This water likely contains salts and other nutrients that the butterfly needs. And you can also see butterflies doing this at puddles too. While we were at the creek, we also saw the chipmunk again. And this one was busier than the one we saw last week. It's constantly searching around for probably seeds very active and also hard to see if it's not moving. So one thing you might see is this very fancy kind of duck. It's called a merganser and they have very thin bills with serrated edges for catching fish. This is a male common merganser and he looks he looks a little bit like a male mallard but you can see his bill is skinny and bright orange whereas a male mallard has a kind of fat yellow bill. This is a pair of mallards we saw at the creek and you can see that the male has that big yellow bill, unlike the red bill of the male merganser. And this pair looks like they're just hanging out and preening themselves. You can see the female wiping her beak through her feathers. So here's another mallard. This one is sitting on the top of a hill, which is really weird because they normally are near water, but this is actually right near our house and we're not near the, that near water. So this one's just kind of hanging out on a hill, not really sure why. They do nest on the ground, but they usually nest near water. Here's something more usual to find on your lawn. It's a northern flicker. Flickers eat ants, and we can see it's pecking at the ground, so it's possible it's found some ants to eat. Flickers are a type of woodpecker. So other woodpeckers look for food on trees, and they also drum on trees to announce their territory. Flickers do the same thing, but other birds, like nuthatches, don't usually drum on things. Woodpeckers will often drum on metal poles, but nuthatches are not woodpeckers, so we're really not sure what this one is doing. If anybody watching our neighborhood nature knows why this nuthatch is drumming on a on the metal pole, please let us know. Leave a comment under our video. You may have noticed flowers starting to bloom now that spring is here. This is a nanking cherry in our backyard. You can see that there's a bee visiting it. There's a lot of different kinds of bees. Here is a bumblebee. You can see it's got some nice orange markings. This is a different kind of a bumblebee. You can see that it doesn't have orange markings and instead has a black bottom. If you look closely, you can see yellow sacs on its hind legs. These are for storing pollen. This is a wasp. Wasps also pollinate flowers as well. This is the first time this year that we've seen this type of bee. It's a mining bee. Mining bees lay their eggs in burrows underground. So we've covered bees and we've covered wasps, but what kind of bee is this? It's actually a fly, a bee fly. They're very fuzzy and they don't bite or sting. Any guesses on which this one is? Is it a bee? Is it a wasp? Or is it something else? This one is also a fly. You can tell because it has very large eyes that sort of meet in the center of its head, whereas a bee has smaller eyes which don't come as close. This is a type of fly called a flower fly or hoverfly because they can hover in midair and because they pollinate flowers. Hoverflies come in many different colors and often they resemble wasps or bees. They're one of my favorite insects. Bees, wasps, bee flies, and hoverflies are just some of the pollinators that come, will come to your garden. So if you'd like to attract some more pollinators, there's lots of different plants that you can plant to attract them, such as bee balm, salvia, Echinacea, or otherwise known as coneflower, cosmos, dill, and many more. These are just a few of what can grow here in Alberta. If you'd like to learn more about what you can plant here in Alberta and what will attract pollinators, check out our online program this Sunday called Seed to Seed from 2 to 3. Master Gardener Dale Ford from the St. Albert Botanical Gardens will share her expertise in all things plants. This event's brought to you by the St. Albert Public Library Seed Library. And this is again happening on Sunday, May 24th from 2 to 3 online. And you can find all the details on our website. 
Thanks for joining us at Neighborhood Nature, and we will see you next week.